Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Claire and Molly this week. Because <laughs> she's cute. Yes. Now I'm here at my parents' house with my parents' cats because not only are they adorable, but one of them is concerned with this video. Now I'm here this week to talk to you about what to do if your cat goes missing. Now a few months ago, one of my parents' cats, Max, not this one, this is Molly, <laughs> went missing for five days. It was really, really hard and really scary, but we did a few things and eventually he came home. Now, I'm not going to say that every time a cat goes missing, they do come home, unfortunately, but here are a few things you can do to make it a bit more possible that your cat will come home to you. Now the first thing you should do is contact your vets and your local shelters. If you let your vets and your local shelters know that your cat is missing, they can keep an extra ear or eye out for anyone that brings in a stray or lost cat. If your vets and local shelters are active on social media, then they can share information through their pages. Now this really helped us out when Max went missing as our local vets um, shared a lot on Twitter. Not only is it a great way to cast a wider net when looking for your cat, but it means that your vets or the shelters can get in contact with you if your cat is brought into either of them. And if your cat is at microchips, get in contact with the microchip company to register your cat missing. Now the second thing is putting up posters. Now you see these in films and TV all the time, but they have the potential to really help you out. When Max went missing, I made up a poster and we distributed it through the neighbourhoods. Here's the poster that I made. Now, in this poster, you need a clear picture of your cat, preferably a colour one, if they are of any distinctive colour, their name or any name that they will respond to, a brief description of your cat with noting of any unusual markings or features they might have, your name and a way of contacting you, so maybe a mobile number or an email address. Now, this has the potential to make a big difference. When we put the posters up from Max when he went missing, it was only within the hour that we ended up getting phone calls and texts from people who had possible sightings. Now, none of these actually came to fruition as Max, it seems, had been locked away somewhere, but you can see just how much of a help it can be with your neighbourhood. Now, the third one is go looking for them. Now, I know this sounds obvious and I'm not insulting your intelligence, but sometimes cats can just lose their way. This happened with Max. He went missing again after he'd been found the first time and it actually just happened that he'd just lost his way. My dad went and had a bit of a look for him um, around the neighbourhood and actually found him at the bottom of the long street where they live. He'd obviously gone out and was completely lost at where he was. So if you live in a close neighbourhood, just maybe you and um, a few friends or family, it is good to have more than one person looking. Just have a look around your neighbourhood or your town or village. Now you should go around calling their name, looking under foliage, under cars or anywhere that you think a cat would go and hide. Don't forget to ask your neighbours permission if you can go and look in their sheds, their garages or any outhouses that they have. Make sure that they know to keep an eye out in these places so if your cat goes there maybe in the night time. Number four, social media is a very good tool. Social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter are great ways of getting a message out to a wider range of people. Now if you have any local pages on Facebook or anything like the buy, swap, sell or even a, a local page for missing pets, put up all the information that you put on the poster onto this post and ask people to share it. This is a great way of getting out all the information that you need to people that you might not usually talk to or interact with. And five, try to lure them home. Now you can leave things out, uh, maybe in your back garden or front garden, maybe a bowl of their favourite food or a small amount of their used litter. Now this might just be enough to either lure them home or guide them home if they're lost. Familiar smells such as their food and their litter is a great indication for cats and they will hopefully will be guided home safely. Thanks for watching guys, I hope these tips help you if you have lost your cat. Um, fingers crossed they are found safe and sound. Now if you have any extra tips to help people who have lost their cats, just share them in the comment section below. Me and Rags and Molly love hearing from you and who knows you could help a fellow cat owner. Now speaking of comments, it is time to announce the winner of our Relax My Cat t-shirt competition. Now I'll just remind you of the rules, you have to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, you have the notifications on so you're a member of the notification squad and you comment on this video in the first 60 minutes that it is out. So let's see who wins this week. Congratulations to Lana. I think that's how you say your name, apologies if I said it wrong. Um, they say thank you for the last video and that the, this channel helps them a lot. Thank you very much and congratulations on your t-shirt. All you need to do is email us at relaxmycat at gmail.com with your address and your size and we'll send a t-shirt over to you. Congratulations and good luck to everybody else. Now thanks for watching guys, I hope you did like this video. If you did, so you know what to do, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. 
Thanks again for watching and Ragsy and I, hopefully we'll be back next week. Bye!